Yo, 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 what is good, you guys? Welcome to another update. Today, I want to talk about uh, some more IPM stuff. Uh, last week, I gave out some clones, and a buddy of mine that I gave them to locally pointed out some thrip damage or thripe, however you want to say it. And um, so I went ahead and checked, and sure enough, I had this start of thrips. So, um, with that said, the adults don't cause a lot of damage, but the pupae and the uh, larvae, they do. So I went ahead and treated for them. Um, I have not been applying my Power SI control often enough. And I allowed them to get in, which is very easy through this garage area. So I went ahead and I picked up some um, Spinosad. This is a uh, Monterey Garden Insect Spray. Okay. This is armory listed. You can spray it up until harvest, basically. Um, I sprayed that two days ago to kill off any potential um, remaining pest. And then I followed up by bringing in beneficial um, predator bugs today. So what you're looking at is the brand that carries the um, Ambliforce. Ambliforce C, which is for Cucumeris. And these attack the larva stage. And uh, the pupae stage. This is from Beneficial Insectiary. Um, okay, and so these I applied directly to the foliage on the tops of the plants, as you can see from the clones. And you can see up here, because these are in veg, there's no flowers or anything like that. I also have some slow release packets that are the same exact predator bug. And those will last four to five weeks of slow release. So I placed those there, as well as one down in the clone tray. Now on top of the Ambly Force, I also added Stratio Force from Stratio uh, Lalaps. Okay, this is uh, formerly known as Hypoapsis Smiles. And these attar, uh, attack pupae and uh, larva in the soil and other um, mites, fungus gnat larva. And so um, for that, I added some to the top of each cube and you can see the little bit of dirt in each spot. And you might be able to zoom in and see some movement. I know you saw it. I know you saw it. I saw it. See it right there? I'm moving in the center of the screen. Right on that root. It's a predatory mite. You can see them in the soil or in the bran. All right there, moving around. So those are dispersing down into the cubes. And then I also have Orias bugs, which are um, going to attack the adult thrips, if there's any, which I haven't seen any actually. And I deployed blue uh, bug scan strips for thrips. Okay, blue is for thrips, yellow for fungus gnats. And um, I spilled a bit of bran on accident, but um, in here, since I'm flowering, you don't want to spread the bran on top of the flowers and get it in there. So I just applied the same thing, tops of the cubes, Stratio Lalaps, and the uh, Ambliophorus Cucumeris, as well as the slow release sachets that I put all throughout the canopy, almost on all the plants. Not on all of them exactly, but quite a few. So we have slow release all the way throughout the canopy. All of the medium is covered and those mites will crawl out and climb through the canopy and kill off anything that might be in here. Again, these are better off as uh, beneficial predatory bugs as prevention. Not so much as uh, maintenance and eradication, but if you start this from the start, 
You know, you have your mechanical controls and your identification and prevention stuff, and then you have your biological controls, and it's good to stay on top of all of them. So I'll continue to spray Power SI um, control, and I'll continue to deploy predatory bugs over the next week or two and continue to make sure that no additional sightings pop up. And that should take care of everything. Hope this helps.